Hello to everyone watching this footage, it's Leviathan here again, and to start things off I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to uh, make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I apologize if I went past the deadline for this video, and I'm doing it right now just to do you guys a favor and such. For this particular video, there's going to be three characters for me to introduce, known as Lady Champion, Madame Diablo, and Nerissa. And if you could, guys could bear with me, I'll do all that I can to keep it comprehensible and such, and I hope it's worth it for you guys. Here's the first one. Lady Champion. Real name, inapplicable. Height varied, weight varied, status hero an ally of the savior of the universe base mobile intelligence five brains and a plus behavior willful protective and loving she always enjoys serving the savior lethality only when threatened or during a fight weaknesses pride and being rivaled powers she possesses all the powers of the top five 1.0 and 2.0 eyes sky blue Hair, vivid gold and flowing. Origin. One time, Leviathan decided to create an entity fused with all the powers, abilities, and weapons of the Top 5 1.0 and 2.0. After a time of calculation, he created an individual who he named Lady Champion. Eventually, Abigail Kingston commanded her armies of space borgs to annihilate the Leviathan universe, and then go from there. After a time of fighting, Lady Champion finally destroyed the Hordes. Since then, she'll spend her free time helping the Top 5 with their own objectives whenever needed. Costume? She simply wears nothing official. Teams? Solitary, with the Top 5 and other heroes. Order Inspiration? The Top 5 1.0 and 2.0. And, uh, that's the first character. Here's the second character that I'll introduce to you guys. Madame Diablo. Real name, Gabilia del Diablo. Height, 13 feet 10 inches. Weight, 475 pounds. Status, hero. And fairest woman in Mexico. Base, default earth mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Loving, willful, and confident, she always enjoys helping others. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, misogyny and pride. Powers, she possesses a huge size, great strength, uncanny beauty, and uncanny reasoning skills. She is also able to speak both English and Spanish. Eyes deep brown, hair brownish black and luscious. Origin. Gabilia del Diablo was once a young woman who was rejected by many for being inadequate at the time. One day, D. Jin appeared to Gabilia to grant her a wish, and she wished to become the most beautiful woman in all of Mexico. And almost instantly, Gabilia became 13 feet 10 inches tall, and developed an uncanny level of beauty. Eventually, the Aztec Queen made her first attempt to bring the Aztec civilization back from their absence, and Gabilia had successfully defeated her from doing so. Now known as Madame Diablo, she would do anything to defend her people. Costume She simply wears nothing official. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Order and inspiration, equality. Here's the last character that I'll introduce in this in this footage. Just bear with me. Narissa. Real name unknown. Height 6 feet 3 inches. Weight 193 pounds. Status hero and duplicator's member. Base mobile. Intelligence 3 and a half brains. Behavior. Loving and seductive. She's truly in love with herself. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, her mental obsession. 
She has no healing factor. Powers. She possesses unlimited duplication powers, martial arts, and some uncanny persuasion skills. Eyes bright green, hair civil silverish black in waist length. Origin. The woman known as Norissa was born with a rare mental condition that made her only attracted to herself, and she would do anything to make the romance possible. One day, Dijin appeared to her, and Orissa wished for unlimited duplication powers. When her wish was granted, she decided to go out on a group date with her duplicates. Eventually, the devious Legioness came by and attempted to finish everyone in New York City. And deciding to be a hero, Narissa was able to defeat her. Nowadays, Narissa became a member of a hero team called the Duplicators, although she rarely trusts Legion S. Costume She simply wears nothing official. Teams Solitary with the Duplicators and other heroes. Order Inspiration Narissicus of Greek Mythology. Well, I. Hope you guys appreciate the three characters I have to introduce for this. And just so you guys know, just recently I made a live broadcast on my Facebook page. I wasn't able to figure out how to inter interconnect that with my podcast here. But I hope it's something that you guys would like to see. Because it's like 50 minutes of more vibrant exclamations. Explanations. Sorry. So, uh... Hope you guys have a fine May, and just so you know, my youngest brother is going to graduate from high school in this month, and uh, hope you guys have a fine time and such, and uh, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, it's your choice, and until next time, I'm Leviathan, enjoy your time and such, and until next time, in transmission.